strength They should run and not grow weary They should walk and not faint They're the way to palm Guys, my name's Aaron I'm also known as the Singing Chef in Northern Ireland and yes you have seen me before with the simple cooking videos which are posted on uh, the Singing Chef Facebook page um, today I'm going to make a wee recipe that we did at an event last night at one of the churches I was at but I'm going to show you how we did that um, here on the video in my home and this will serve four people and we're going to make tomato and pepper soup so let's get started roughly here in front of us two crushed garlic one large onion two large peppers, about 500 grams of uh, ripened tomatoes, just chopped tomatoes, roughly chopped, and one tin of tomatoes, I think it's about 400 grams, and some olive oil and some basil, and some water and some stock. And that is all we need for this recipe. So let's get started in step-by-step -step instructions. So first of all, we're gonna heat our pan up here on the stove. We're going to use some extra virgin olive oil. Just going to pour a little bit in. Just a few drizzles. Okay, we're just going to heat our oil up a little bit. Then I've already pre-chopped the onion and the garlic and the pepper and a tomato. And we're just going to Put that into the pan, just like so. We're just going to give that a little bit around. Flavor in there. As you can see they're all roughly chopped so there's no need to be really fussy about how they are going in because we're going to puree all this lovely vegetables. So we're just going to let them soften or what we would call saute just for a moment. Just for about four minutes. We're on a high heat here as well, just to get things cooking quick. Okay, we've been letting these soften for about four minutes now. We're just going to add one tin of tomatoes, chopped tomato. And then we're going to add some, you can use stock, but I'm going to use bouillon today, which is just a little handier for myself. So I'm just going to basically cover everything there, as you can see. Maybe just a little bit more liquid. It's roughly about two pints. Two pints of liquid. And we're just going to let that boil, boil up nicely and then when it comes to the boil we're going to let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. Well we've had our soup simmering for about 20 minutes. Now what I'm going to do is add what this is called chicken powder or chicken bouillon. Now what you can do is you could break up a stock cube or you could make up stock rather than adding water. Um, it doesn't really matter because we're actually going to puree everything. So I've just taken two uh, dessert spoonfuls. I'm always going to taste things, make sure if we need any more seasoning. a little pinch more 
Okay. Well seasoned. So what we're going to do next is we're going to get our hand blender or a food processor and we're going to puree that into a nice soup. I've taken the soup off the heat and um, we're just going to get a hand blender in here and we're going to just blend all our vegetables and all the get all the flavour into the soup. We want to blend that until it's just nice liquidy form. We get rid of all the lumpy bits. We have a nice thick soup. So we're just blending our soup here, making sure everything is nicely blended together. We're taking the soup off the heat. And once we have that done, we'll show you what's next. All we have to do is just serve it, but we are eating. Okay, your soup should look something like this. As you can see, lovely looking soup. So we put that back onto the heat again, just to heat it up, and then we're just going to serve it. Next, I'm just going to take a little bit of basil. We're just going to chop that up nicely. Just going to take our soup, just put it in our bowl. Like so just going to take just a little drizzle of olive oil and some basil just to finish and there you have it tomato and red pepper soup well I'm really pleased you could join me in my kitchen today in cooking tomato and red pepper soup um, please don't forget to hit the like button and you'll follow the recipe links below this video. Also a link to our Facebook page, The Singing Chef NI, as well. And just go and like that page as well and you'll see a lot more videos here on YouTube and Facebook page as we continue on with The Singing Chef videos. Cooking recipes for you and also singing for you. We'll keep you up to date with our events on our Facebook page. So don't forget to like us and we'll see you soon. This you walk and not fade